Hello there, I'm Angela, founder of GrowRichBook.com. In this video, I will be talking to you about the circle of manifestation. Now, everything in this universe once began as a thought in somebody's mind, right? So our thoughts affect the images that we hold in our mind, right? And those images then affect our feelings, the way that we feel. Those feelings in turn affect the vibrations we send out into the universe. These vibrations are like Wi-Fi signals. They go out into the universe and attract people, situations, things, that are on the same level of vibration as the ones that we're sending out into the universe, right? What happens then is this affects our behavior, the way that we behave, and our behavior over time affects the results we get. Let me put this in perspective for you. For the longest time, when I started learning about visualization, and uh, the power of your thoughts and feelings, I would um, have this big dreams, big goals. And then because my current situation was a mismatch, it, my situation and my goals, my goals were there and I was here, right? So what would happen is I'd have these negative thoughts, right? Thoughts of fear, doubt, insecurity, and these thoughts will affect the images I'd hold in my mind. So I'll think about things going wrong. I'll think about the worst case scenario. I would think about my current situation. So what's based on my current situation, right? And then this affected the way I felt, right? So anxiety, stress, and those feelings then would cause me to send out these negative vibrations, right? At a lower frequency. And these vibrations would then go out into the universe and attract like uh, the same level of people, thoughts, situations, right? And that would affect my behavior. It would affect the way I approached clients. It would affect the way I was prospecting and I was running my business from this place of lack, fear, insecurity, right? And that definitely affected my results. It was like I was going round and round in circles on this treadmill, going nowhere fast. It was until I came across this uh, book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, when I actually understood this process of manifestation, how everything begins as an idea in your mind, right? So then I started to play with this and became aware of my thoughts, right? So starting to only think about the things that I wanted. Now, automatically, those negative thoughts would come into my head, would pop into my head. And uh, what I would do is use this, you probably see me always with this, and just snap myself out of it. And it would be like a, a battle within myself going back and forth, right? But those thoughts, those positive thoughts, thinking about um, abundance, opportunities, about the person that I wanted to become, here, uh, standing here making these videos for you, right? They affected the images. I started to then only think about, well, mostly think about what it is that I wanted to uh, achieve, my goals, my dreams, and think about them as if that already happened, what, what it'd be like, right? That would affect my feelings, hold my head up high, chest up, and start to actually feel great and believe that it's possible for these things to happen for me. And then those things will then attract, um, affect the vibrations I was sending out into the universe. So my vibration sites to, um, were at a higher level and they'll go into the universe and attract people, situations and things at that same level and they return back to me a hundredfold, right? This then started to affect my behavior. So I would take more action, do more things and my effect, my behavior eventually affected the results that I started to get. And that is what I'm here sharing this video with you. So if you are interested in learning more about how to manifest the life of your dreams, please click the link in and around this video for more information. I'm Angela, wishing you the best year ever. Thank you.